The Explorer mission is perhaps one of the most uncommon and dependable achievements in space exploration. Initially planned as a short mission to investigate the outer planets of our solar system, Explorer has far exceeded its initial objectives, evolving into a journey that has delivered exceptional data about the universe. This remarkable mission, now ongoing for over 40 years, continues to relay valuable data back to Earth, revealing discoveries that could challenge our current understanding of physics. Recently, Explorer 1, the most distant human-made object, resumed sending usable data after years of sporadic transmissions. Join us as we explore Explorer's remarkable journey and its fascinating discoveries. Following 46 years in space, the Explorer story began in the mid-1970s when NASA recognized a rare celestial alignment allowing a spacecraft to visit all four gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, in a single mission. This alignment, occurring once every 176 years, enabled the spacecraft to use each planet's gravity to propel itself to the next, reducing the time and energy required to explore these distant worlds. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, designed two spacecraft, Explorer 1 and Explorer 2, to take advantage of this unique opportunity. Both spacecraft were equipped with scientific instruments to study the atmospheres, moons, and magnetic fields of the outer planets. Launched weeks apart, Explorer 2 on August 20, 1977, and Explorer 1 on September 5, 1977, these twin spacecraft embarked on carefully plotted courses. Explorer 1, the faster of the two, was directed toward Jupiter and, in March 1979, made its closest approach, capturing stunning images of the planet's dynamic atmosphere, the Great Red Spot, and its moons, including volcanic Io and icy Europa. These observations transformed our understanding of these celestial bodies, revealing active volcanoes on Io and the potential for a subsurface ocean on Europa. After its success at Jupiter, Explorer 1 continued to Saturn, arriving in November 1980. It delivered the first detailed images of Saturn's complex ring system and discovered Titan's thick nitrogen and methane-rich atmosphere, sparking interest in its similarity to early Earth's chemistry. Explorer 1's trajectory beyond Titan sent it out of the plane of the solar system, ending its planetary encounters but marking the start of its journey into interstellar space. Explorer 2, following its twin's path, reached Jupiter in July 1979 and Saturn in August 1981. Unlike Explorer 1, Explorer 2 continued to Uranus and Neptune, becoming the first spacecraft to fly by these distant planets. In January 1986, it provided the first close-up images of Uranus and its moons, discovering ten new moons and noting the planet's peculiar sideways rotation. In August 1989, Explorer 2 arrived at Neptune, capturing stunning images of its deep blue atmosphere, supersonic winds, and storm systems, including the Great Dark Spot. The spacecraft also flew by Triton, Neptune's largest moon, revealing geysers of nitrogen gas and signs of cryovolcanism. After their planetary missions, both explorers were redirected toward interstellar space. In 1990, NASA declared the start of the Explorer Interstellar Mission, focusing on exploring the outer boundaries of the Sun's influence. Despite their age and the immense distances, both spacecraft continued to transmit data from the farthest reaches of the solar system. One of Explorer's most iconic moments occurred on February 14, 1990, when Explorer 1, at Carl Sagan's request, turned its camera back toward Earth, capturing the famous pale blue dot photograph from 3.7 billion miles away. This image, a tiny speck in the vastness of space, has since become a powerful symbol of Earth's fragility and humanity's responsibility to protect our planet. On August 25, 2012, Explorer 1 became the first human-made object to enter interstellar space, crossing the heliopause, where the sun's solar wind meets the interstellar medium. Explorer 2 followed on November 5, 2018. The data returned by both spacecraft have provided invaluable insights into the interstellar medium's density, temperature, and magnetic fields, challenging existing models of the solar system's boundaries. In interstellar space, the explorers have made groundbreaking discoveries, including the detection of a new type of plasma, denser and cooler than the solar wind-dominated plasma within the heliosphere. These findings have expanded our understanding of the processes shaping stars and planetary systems.
Explorer has also recorded an increase in cosmic rays, indicating that the heliosphere acts as a protective shield against these high-energy particles. The spacecraft's data on magnetic fields in interstellar space have led scientists to reconsider how these fields interact with cosmic rays and other particles. There is ongoing speculation that Explorer might encounter even more remarkable phenomena, such as dark matter or dark energy, which remain mysterious but are believed to constitute most of the universe's mass and energy. While direct evidence is lacking, such interactions could subtly influence the spacecraft's trajectory, offering new clues in the study of these unknown forces. There is also a remote possibility that Explorer could encounter evidence of extraterrestrial technology, raising fascinating questions about life beyond Earth. Although the odds are slim, any such discovery would profoundly reshape our understanding of the universe and humanity's place within it. NASA has worked tirelessly to keep the aging Explorer spacecraft operational for over 40 years, thanks to innovative engineering, careful power management, and mission oversight. The spacecraft are powered by radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, which convert the heat from the decay of plutonium-238 into electricity. However, as the plutonium decays, the power output gradually diminishes. NASA has strategically shut down non-essential systems to conserve energy, ensuring critical instruments remain active. Communication with the Explorer spacecraft, now billions of miles from Earth, is another challenge. NASA uses the Deep Space Network, DSN, a global system of radio antennas, to maintain contact with the spacecraft. As the distance increases, the transmissions weaken, but NASA has improved the DSN's capabilities, enabling the continued transmission of valuable data. Navigation and orientation of the spacecraft require precise control of gyroscopes and thrusters, which are used sparingly to conserve power. The scientific instruments still in use, such as the Plasma Science Experiment and Cosmic Ray Subsystem, continue to provide remarkable data about interstellar space. Despite the diminishing power, the explorers remain operational. Yet, by the mid-2020s, they may no longer have enough power to run their instruments, marking the mission's end. Even after the spacecraft ceased to function, their legacy will endure. The data they have gathered has revolutionized our understanding of the universe and embodies the triumph of human curiosity and ingenuity. Both explorers also carry the golden record, a message for any extraterrestrial life they might encounter, ensuring that their story and humanities will continue for billions of years as they travel through the cosmos. The Explorer mission is undoubtedly one of the most extraordinary and enduring achievements in space exploration history. What began as a modest plan to study the outer planets of our solar system has evolved into a grand. Initially designed for a five-year mission, the Explorers have vastly exceeded all expectations, delivering groundbreaking discoveries for over four decades and continuing to send valuable data to Earth. These ongoing transmissions hint at new findings that could challenge our current understanding of physics. Recently, after a period of sending faint and sporadic transmissions, Explorer 1, the most distant human-made object, began sending coherent data back to Earth. This incredible achievement underscores the mission's ongoing relevance and the tantalizing possibility of new discoveries. The Explorer journey began in the 1970s when NASA identified a unique planetary alignment that occurs only once every 176 years. This alignment allowed the spacecraft to leverage the gravitational pull of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, propelling it forward to explore each successive planet with minimal energy expenditure. The strategic planning and precision involved in the Explorer missions highlight NASA's ingenuity and resourcefulness. As the two spacecraft continue to traverse interstellar space, they carry humanity's legacy with them. The golden records on board each explorer contain sounds, music, and messages from Earth, offering a snapshot of human civilization to any extraterrestrial life that might one day encounter these interstellar ambassadors. Even as the power supplies dwindle and the spacecraft gradually lose functionality, the data collected during their missions will continue to shape our understanding of the universe for generations to come. The legacy of the explorers stands as a testament to the boundless potential of human exploration and the enduring quest to uncover the mysteries of the cosmos. The story of the explorers reminds us of the power of curiosity, innovation, and the drive to push beyond known boundaries. 
Their journey, stretching across billions of miles, is a powerful symbol of humanity's resilience and determination to understand the universe and our place within it. The unique planetary alignment would permit a rocket to investigate each of the four gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, in one mission, happening just once like clockwork. This arrangement enabled the spacecraft to use each planet's gravitational pull to slingshot toward the next, saving time and resources. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, developed two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, to capitalize on this opportunity. These probes, launched just weeks apart in August and September 1977, were equipped with scientific instruments to study the planet's atmospheres, moons, and magnetic fields. Voyager 1, the faster of the two, first flew by Jupiter in March 1979, capturing stunning images of the planet's atmosphere and moons, including the volcanically active Io and the ice-covered Europa. Its discoveries, such as the presence of active volcanoes on Io and the possibility of a subsurface ocean on Europa, transformed our understanding of these celestial bodies. Subsequently, Voyager 1 traveled to Saturn, providing humanity with the first detailed images of its complex ring system and discovering Titan's thick nitrogen and methane-rich atmosphere. This encounter with Titan altered Voyager 1's trajectory, sending it out of the solar system and marking the start of its interstellar journey. Meanwhile, Voyager 2 continued on to Uranus and Neptune, revealing new moons, rings, and unique atmospheric details of the two planets. Its flybys of these distant giants, particularly Neptune's dark blue atmosphere and Triton's cryovolcanic surface, provided invaluable data that revolutionized planetary science. Following their planetary missions, both spacecraft embarked on the Voyager interstellar mission, focusing on the outer edges of the Sun's influence and beyond. The most iconic moment of this new phase came in 1990 when Voyager 1 turned its camera toward Earth to capture the famous pale blue dot image from 3.7 billion miles away, a humbling reminder of humanity's smallness in the vast universe. In August 2012, Voyager 1 made history again by crossing the heliopause and entering interstellar space, becoming the first human-made object to do so. Voyager 2 followed in November 2018. Their data from this new frontier, such as the density of plasma in interstellar space and the behavior of cosmic rays, has redefined our understanding of the solar system's boundaries and its interactions with the galaxy. One of the key scientific discoveries of the Voyager mission is the detection of cooler, denser plasma beyond the heliosphere. This finding, enabled by Voyager 1's plasma wave subsystem, provided crucial insights into the nature of interstellar space, previously thought to be nearly empty. Instead, this region contains matter from ancient supernovae and cosmic rays that contribute to the Earth's composition. Voyager also revealed valuable information about cosmic rays, noting a sharp increase in intensity after crossing the heliopause. These findings suggest that the heliosphere acts as a protective shield for the inner solar system, safeguarding it against harmful radiation from deep space. This data is vital for future human space exploration, shedding light on the risks astronauts may face beyond the solar system. Furthermore, Voyager has offered insights into interstellar magnetic fields, which are far weaker and more turbulent than those within the heliosphere. These observations have prompted scientists to rethink their models of how magnetic fields interact with cosmic rays and influence their movement through space. While the known discoveries are fascinating, some scientists speculate that Voyager may encounter more intriguing phenomena as it travels further into space. There is ongoing interest in whether Voyager could detect signs of dark matter, dark energy, or even more exotic forms of matter that challenge known physical laws. Although such discoveries remain speculative, they ignite the imagination about the unknown forces that could shape Voyager's journey. The possibility that Voyager could encounter evidence of extraterrestrial technology, though unlikely, continues to captivate scientists and the public alike. If the spacecraft were to stumble upon something unexpected, perhaps an anomaly in its trajectory or unexplained interference with its transmissions, it could lead to groundbreaking discoveries about the nature of intelligence in the universe. Even the golden records carried by the Voyagers, containing information about Earth and humanity, serve as a hopeful gesture toward interstellar communication. NASA has managed to keep the Voyager spacecraft operational for over 40 years through remarkable engineering achievements,
including innovative power management techniques and precise mission oversight. These spacecraft, originally designed to last just five years, continue to function far beyond their expected lifespans. A significant factor in their longevity is their power source, radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, which convert the heat from the radioactive decay of plutonium-238 into electricity. However, as the plutonium decays, the power output gradually decreases. NASA has adapted to this by selectively shutting down non-essential systems to conserve energy. The Voyager mission not only advanced our understanding of the solar system but also sparked public interest in space exploration. The breathtaking images and groundbreaking discoveries captured the imagination of millions, leading to a renewed sense of wonder about the universe. Educational programs and documentaries have highlighted the mission's achievements, inspiring future generations to pursue careers in science and engineering. In addition to scientific advancements, the mission has fostered international collaboration in space research. Many countries have utilized Voyager data to enhance their own scientific endeavors, contributing to a global understanding of planetary systems. Experts have analyzed the Voyager findings to study the solar wind's interaction with interstellar matter, providing insights into the broader dynamics of our universe. As Voyager continues its journey, scientists remain eager to analyze the data it sends back. Each transmission holds the potential for new discoveries about cosmic phenomena. Researchers are particularly interested in studying the heliopause, the boundary marking the end of the sun's influence, which offers a unique laboratory for understanding astrophysical processes.